Hi, Nancy here, and I'm back to talking about my toe-up socks that are done with a short row toe and heel. And right now, I just want to give you a, a just a small demonstration of adding gusset stitches to your sock. Uh, the number one reason people frown upon short row heel uh, socks is because they find there they're just not enough room in the instep. And if you're the type of person that has high arches, um, you may find that you're going to need to add some gussets. You, uh, heel flap socks have gussets in them, so you get that extra stretch, but there's no reason you cannot add gusset stitches to short row and to waist yarn afterthought heels. And I just want to give you a little idea of how they're done. And I also want to share with you, if you're really into serious sock knitting and you want to know all about this stuff, Kate Atherley has a phenomenal book. Oops, not in my camera range here, but it's called um, Custom Socks. And boy, she has just some amazing detail in here. And it's a really good book. The other one is uh, Simple Socks, Plain and Fancy. She's got stuff on mittens as well. And it's uh, by Priscilla Gibson Roberts. And this too is a good book. So just a couple that you might want to look into. And uh, Kate's book goes into the math involved with uh figuring out when and where you would need gussets. And I'll mention it some in my download that's available on my website. But for now, I just want to give you some idea how this works. So here you go. Again, everything comes down to your gauge, your roll gauge on this part and your stitch gauge. But for example, this one, a rule of thumb, you can add 10% of your stitches for gussets. So what that means is I can take 10% um, of the 24 stitches I have and that will end up giving me two, two gusset stitches on each side. So that's going to give me uh, four stitches total. And that's, that's worth an inch at the gauge. I'm getting two and a half stitches per inch. And that's a lot. You know, that, that definitely is going to help out if in the event you need them. And as far as where you place them, usually you would start these an inch before you actually get to the point where you would start your short row heel. That again depends on where your row gauge is at and you can actually figure out where you would add them in. You would do the same thing if it were an afterthought heel. You would you know, take the same thing into consideration, do your afterthought heel, and then go from there. What is different is where the the uh, gusset stitches are placed. Most of us are used to them being done on the sole stitches, the heel stitches, but not with this. These are done on the actual instep stitches, and that's because you don't want to add all that extra stitch work onto your uh, short row heel. So I'm just going to give you a little demonstration here on what you do. We're just going to add a couple and you know a little goes a long way on these. So um, this is what I would tell you. This is my instep obviously because I've got the pattern on it. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to make a right leaning increase. Now that you have a great choice. You can do uh, make ones or you can do left slant right slant, but I'm just going to do uh, a make one. So this one's going to lean to the right Okay, and I'm just going to maintain my pattern Okay, here we go All right Again, you want them paired. So, okay, so now we're going to put the other one here. I like a stitch as a buffer here. So this is going to be our left leaning. Okay, so now we're going to go across these back stitches. Yeah, 
know, and different yarns. The only time, you know, if you, I would say there's a, a situation where you'd probably want to add them, whether you have a high end step or not, and that's if you do Fair Isle uh, socks because they they don't stretch. Yeah, uh, you're carrying two yarns and they tend to stay put, and it wouldn't hurt to have a little extra room there. I think most people would agree with that. So we're going down the road here. This is a very big sock, very big. So it's obviously not going to fit anybody, but it's good for an example. So unless it's a, you know, you need a real rapid rate of increase for whatever reason, typically you're going to do every other round. So this one, I'm going to work all the stitches. And then get to the point where we need to. Okay, and so on this next round, we will be increasing again. Okay. okay, now we're going to increase, so we're going to knit one in, or whatever, um, whichever method you choose to do, and try to keep your stitches on your needle. Don't do what I just did. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to knit one, and then we're going to do right leaning. And always be consistent because you it it does affect the overall look of your sock and it doesn't matter what you do as long as it's consistent most people will think it was deliberate no matter what it was oh, come on here. so I was only gonna do that was 10% of my total stitches so I just did you know two on each side Okay, and then we're going to do a left. Okay. Okay, so now, okay, you see this here? Got our increases, it fans out. Now, we would go ahead and do our heel. Now the heel is done exactly the same way as the toe and so you can refer to that video you would do it exactly the same so we're going to pretend we've done our heel or if this were an afterthought this is where i would knit my waist yarn and we're going to pretend our heel is done and then we're just going to go and uh, continue on and then we would work our decreases Okay, now this one here, I find decreasing is the knitter's choice as far as if you want them to lean to the right or the left. But I actually like to make them lean the opposite direction. I just like how that looks. 
but again it's up to you so I would just do this and I would do an SSK well, I'm gonna try to do an SSK how about that okay because I kind of like how it just folds the follows the fold of your leg that's just me that's what's nice with knitting you can do whatever makes you happy okay so on this side we would knit two together okay and then knit one okay so bottom line here I would do another round then I would do my last decrease because you want to end up back at your original number of stitches and it, it's a nice line it adds it looks nice and it's very functional um, but basically that's all there is to it when it comes to adding gusset stitches to your sock so I hope you found this helpful and again download my pattern um, on my website and Knitting with Nancy Wynn and I think you'll enjoy it. And don't forget to check out these two books I, uh, I recommended. They're uh, Kate's available at Amazon and Simple Socks I ended up getting through Barnes & Noble. So check it out. Thank you.